Welcome to Runner Tracks, CSUB's Organizational Training and Leadership Series. This module is all about officer transition. It includes information you may not have considered that will help you hand off the torch to your new officers without the flame going out. Feel free to take screenshots of each slide to help you remember important items. Historically, clubs have held elections at the very end of the year, sworn in new officers at the last meeting, and left them to run the club with very little training. Officer transition is a chance for incoming and outgoing officers to sit down and discuss topics related to the leadership and direction of the club, thus preserving the club's legacy. They should meet to go over each topic as soon as possible after completing this module. There are links to worksheets in the Runner Tracks form that both officers can download to help facilitate this process. We want to help you think of important things to discuss so questions don't go unanswered. Thank you to CSU Dominguez Hills for making their officer transition program available to CSUB to adopt for our own program. Your new officers are coming into their positions with their own ideas and goals. The outgoing officers should share what their goals were going into a new year and what happened. What did the club hope to accomplish last year? Were the club's goals met? What should continue to be a goal? What goals should be changed or modified? What goals no longer make sense for your club? Discuss the activities you held throughout the year. Did you accomplish what you set out to do with your activity? Did your activities further your goals or were they just something to do? Which activities should the club repeat and which should they modify or drop? Watch the Runner Tracks video for event assessment to help answer these questions. Members are the batteries that power your club. Evaluate members and their commitment to the club. Does your club have too many, too few, or just the right amount of members? What did you do to recruit new members and was it successful? Are your members as active and involved as you hoped they would be? Did you spread responsibilities around and give all members a chance to be involved? Organizations are, by nature, organized. How do you feel about the structure of your organization and your officer responsibilities? Does each role come with a job description? Is it detailed in your constitution? Did officers work as a team or handle responsibilities individually? Do officers need to work on their teamwork? Are responsibilities evenly distributed or are some officers expected to carry more of the load than others? Do officers and members communicate or do officers tell members what they want them to do? Have you asked the members how they feel about the officers? Organizational operations address the current status of the club. Discuss finances, methods of communication, etc. Did you have enough funds to accomplish your goals and were the funds managed properly? Were the meetings run effectively? Were there enough meetings and opportunities for members to gather? Did you have a committee structure and did it work? Faculty involvement includes not just your advisor, but other faculty and staff on campus. Was the support you got from faculty helpful or not helpful? Did you get help from multiple sources? Did your advisor give the club sufficient support beyond just signing documents? Did you keep advisors and faculty aware of what you were doing and give them a chance to get involved? What ideas do you have for improving faculty involvement? Regardless what they say on the commercial, image isn't everything, but it is important. How do other groups see your club? How do you know? How does the club see itself? How can we change or improve our image with others? True success is when your organization carries on beyond your involvement. For that to happen, the tools you use need to be passed on. What are the club's current strengths and weaknesses? What is the best advice I can give my successor? What were my biggest accomplishments and challenges? Do you have important information written anywhere that can be passed on? If you go to your club's RunnerSync admin page, there is a section at the bottom that can only be seen by your club's admin and is a good place to put this information. Do not put anything here that is super personal or private like passwords as the information can still be seen by campus administrators. During your transition meeting with your replacement officer, make sure you cover these topics. Describe the responsibilities of the position and if there's a job description, share that if possible. 
Discuss a timetable for completion of annual duties. Discuss any unfinished projects. Discuss important contacts and resource persons. Let them know where to find that information. Discuss mistakes that could have been avoided. Share any advice you have for the new officer. And try and answer any questions the new officer may have. Finally, trade contact information for future communication so if the officer needs you, they can get a hold of you. The outgoing officer should be prepared to share this information. Complete these sentences. What I liked best about my job. What I liked least about my job. The most difficult decision I had to make was. What I could have done to improve the experience was. Obstacles to performing my job effectively included. I got the most help from. Things I wish I'd known before I took the job were. And what should be done immediately in the fall is. The incoming officer should come to the meeting with a list of information they want or need to know. Things specific to the position I want to know about include forms, duties, etc. Things I should do over the summer. People or positions that I should get to know. That includes people in the Office of Student Involvement in the Student Union. Services that I need to know about. Things I need to know about working with my advisor and other questions I want answered. Handing your club over to the next generation is a big deal, so don't treat it like it's nothing. Your outgoing officers were important. Your incoming officers are important. Both need to be recognized. Your club should hold a semi-official ceremony and wish everyone luck in the future. It should include recognition of graduates and outgoing officers as well as the new officers should provide an opportunity for informal socializing and give club members a chance to meet the new officers. And finally, do what you can virtually. During the official changeover to new officers, the new officers will be changed in runner sync at the time of registration, but old officers will remain signers on the club account until June 30th. The new officers will replace them July 1st. And finally, eligibility for the new officers is contingent on their fall enrollment. The Office of Student Involvement is your primary interface with the school. The Office of Student Involvement oversees all student organizations and clubs. They help with the finances and fiscal services forms. They should be notified if any officer or advisor changes. Please keep them informed of any club activities and ask anytime if you need help. You can reach OSI at getinvolved at csub.edu. Here are a few last thoughts about officer transition. Hold elections early enough that there is some overlap between outgoing and incoming officers. Don't just let the new officers watch or get involved. Have a plan that includes what needs to be communicated. Outgoing officers should share all passwords with incoming officers who should then change those passwords. Encourage the new officer to make their job their own. Share what you did, but they're not your clone. It's more than okay to ask for help. Yes, officers need to make decisions, but even professional decision makers get input from others first. Thank you for watching our Runner Tracks Officer Training and Leadership video for Officer Transition. Please return to the Runner Tracks training form, answer a few questions about this video, and submit the form. If you have questions or want more information, email us at getinvolved at csub.edu, and please watch our other Runner Tracks videos.